Okay, and first question is coming from AJ McCord with Coin6. All right, Dame, a question about your backcourt, mate. You've been an all-star. What do you think it's going to take for CJ to become one this year? Um, I think we just got to continue to win games. Um, you know, we've seen teams in the past, you know, like Oklahoma City with uh, Paul George and Russ, they weren't a top one or two team, and they were, you know, they had two all-stars because it was it was undeniable. Um, and I think this year, um, with how, how balanced it is across the league, um, and where we are, you know, being six and four and, and uh, trending in the right direction, and he's been, you know, playing amazing. Um, you know, I don't see why why it wouldn't be able to happen this year, um, and I think it will. You know, we just got to continue to win games. Next question is coming from Casey Holdall with Trailblazers.com. Hey, Dan, I, I was wondering if you could talk about uh, what you saw out of Carmelo tonight, particularly in the fourth quarter. Obviously, a, a tough start, at least offensively, to the game in the first half. Uh, really came on there in the fourth, 13 points. Uh, helped push you guys over the top. Yeah, I mean, um, I say it all the time. He's a Hall of Famer. And, uh, you know, if it's anything that, that we know he can do is put the ball in the basket. And, uh, you know, obviously, he's adjusting to a new role, coming off the bench for the first time in his career. Um, and, you know, finding your, your rhythm and finding your stride sometimes is a little bit harder. You know, he's not, you know, 25, you know, he's a little bit older now. Um, and like I said, a new role, um, you know, different amount of minutes that he's playing. So it's a, a smaller window uh, of time for him to get himself going. And tonight, I just think you saw uh, that Hall of Fame uh, ability. He just, he made shots, he was communicating, he was rebounding the ball and, um, he had a huge, a huge impact on us, you know, pulling his game out. So um, I think that's that's what you'll see, you know, especially with the league uh, going small and so many teams having those small lineups. Um, you'll see us, you'll see us going to that, you know, down the stretch if, if teams go small because it it works well for us. So um, I think that's all you saw. You know, he made shots. He he pretty much did exactly what he was doing in the bubble. Thanks, Tim. Next question is coming from Jason Quick with the Athletic. Dane, how do, how can you describe your uh, what your right ankle feels like right now? Um, it it was really sore um, when I did it. Uh, you know, I almost asked for a sub when I first did it because it just you know it just shot up my leg a little bit and it was it was painful. Um, but I, I ran up and down the court a few times, um, and I just was waiting to see like all right, once it settles in and it gets stiff or it gets really sore, I just wanted to see how how painful it would get. Um, and once I felt it, you know, and I, I saw, I felt what it was like when I was cutting it, when I was running full speed and stopping and jumping. And I knew it was going to be painful, um, especially after the game, but um, it wasn't unbearable. So um, when I came out of the game, I put the gun on it. I put heat on it. Uh, I, you know, I was doing different um, exercises with the, the bands on the bench so it wouldn't get too stiff. And, you know, before I came, when I saw the clock got to the point where I was coming back, in the game, I got up and started, you know, running in place and trying to loosen it up before I got back on the court. Um, and it was pretty much irritating, you know, throughout the game. But, uh, you know, like I said, it wasn't unbearable. And I, I was still able to, to be productive. Next question is coming from Dwight James with NBC Sports Northwest. Hey, Dame, how significant is it to win a game like that where you're, you're on defense? You guys are on defense for the final shot of the game. And you, you got Covington there who's playing this guy straight up one-on-one -on -one with no help. And you win the game because of that, basically. Uh, it's a different way than you guys have won some games in the past, I would say. Yeah, I mean, well, they they were, uh, you know, anytime we overhelped, they just kept uh, finding that guy on the weak side and they were making the shots. And, um, we didn't want to put ourselves in a position to, to overhelp and then they just get a, a wide open look for the game. Um, and I, I actually... Um, on the weak side, Melo actually, you know, yelled to me, I got your back, go help. And I actually did help. You know, he started his initial move and I just ran at him and reached for the ball and he backed it out and it took, you know, maybe two or three seconds um, off the clock and he backed it out and I ran back to my man and then he was a little bit more sped up after that. Um, so we actually did help. We just didn't sell out and stay there. Uh, you know, we pretty much did what Golden State did last night. You know, they, they showed bodies, but they, you know, they countered on a guy to stay in front of him, make him take a tough shot. And, uh, you know, Rocco took it personally. He, he knew that uh, Siakam had a really good first half. 
Um, and I think he held him to like four points in the second half. So um, that's the type of the mentality that we got to have. We got to be willing to take that challenge. And uh, it came down to one possession and he was able to get the stop. Next question is coming from Mark Medina with USA Today. Hey, Dame. Hope you're hanging in there with everything. Um, what What are your early takeaways of what it's like navigating this season outside of a bubble environment? Do you think that there should be any tweaks to the, the health and safety protocols? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure how much more it can be tweaked. You know, I feel like I'm living my life in a in a box. You know, I go to practice. I go back home. I don't go anywhere else. You know, I don't. You know, I can't, then like we can go to dinner or go to a movie or, um, you know, go hang out with our family or nothing like that, you know, because our, our family members, they have lives. So it's, it's um, the rules that we got to play by just kind of push you in a box where it's, you know, you travel, stay in a hotel room, play, get on the plane, come home, go straight home. You know, you just, I live on my phone because I can't, you know, interact with people in person, basically, I can't, I can't do things as normal. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely tough, but, um, you know, if we don't, if we don't accept that, um, if we don't accept that that's the way it has to be, then, you know, we, we lose out on a lot of things, our season, our health, um, you know, our, our contracts, you know, everything is, um, goes downhill if we don't, if we don't play by these rules. So, um, obviously we're going to make it work to the best of our ability. And I think, um, you know, we've been doing a really solid job at that. All right. Thanks, Tim. We're going to wrap it there because we got Mellow in the wings. All right. Cool.